I'm going to show you how to paint and draw your own Easter Bunny that can be hung on a wall or you can put it in a wreath, whatever you'd like to do with it. Um, you can pick these up at Michael's. They're really pretty. They have different cutouts. It's made of, um, I don't know, particle board probably. Wood or I'm sure it's particle board. This one is $9.99. I think they're on sale for 30% off, but if you have rewards or something, you can use that and get it cheaper. And they make it in just the plain color, uh, similar to this, of course, uh, not the same style, but you know, just this color to paint on. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in closer in the areas that I draw so you can see how to do it. All right, we're gonna start on the eyes. Make it more straight. So try to find your center area. Just base it off um, where the ears meet just go down. You can uh, use a sketch and wash pencil. These are excellent pencils. I use them all the time because you can wipe them off very easily with a damp um, cloth or a damp rag. So go ahead and just draw a line down the center of his face based on where the ears meet. Okay, so that's going to be your guide. Mine's a little crooked. So we find our center point, and then we're going to go ahead and do a curve on each side where the eyes go. So we're going to do a curve this way, and then do another one on this side. And it's easier to make them even having this line in the middle. So try to have the same distance between each of those lines with your middle line. Okay. Alright, so that's what it's going to look like. Now, come up to where the line is. Not, Don't touch it, just come up to that area. And you're going to do a curve. Coming down. Just like that. Come on the other side and do the same thing. Start where this one is. A little dot if you need to. Come down. Do your best to get your curve even. If you have to draw a straight line knowing where your curve goes down to, go ahead. You could always wipe it off later, okay? And then just bring it down to that line. And you could also turn your head or your rabbit upside down. Sometimes that helps you get it even. And just kind of look. A lot of times when you start painting, you're going to see the differences. There might be a slight difference. But at least you know it's going to be close if your line is straight. Mine's not perfectly straight, actually, but it's pretty close. Okay, so that's what you're going to have. Now, right here, where this line ends, go ahead and do an inside curve, just like that, just like that. Other side, inside curve. Now look at both sides, it's very important to look to see if you have them close. Like this one I see is a little bit lower. Quite easy. Might have to play around with it a little more when I start drawing. Just try to even out your curves so they look the same on both sides. Okay. Now we're going to do the bottom of the eye. You're going to start right here and you're going to do a curve going this way and it's going to be very slight you can go a little bit past the line same on this side this one looks wider let's see same on this side Now we're going to do the iris of the eye 
and we're going to go from this line to this line doing our curve for the eyeball. It might be a little hard because there's grooves in here, but when you paint it, you'll be able to make it look even. And you're, you're basically right on this line here. Then you're going to come down and continue all the way to the bottom. Same thing on this side. Now it's a good idea to see how much distance you have and hopefully it's similar from the iris to the outside of the eye. Next we're going to do the pupil. Again, when you start painting, you might see some air, you know, oh well, it doesn't look even, so you can try to adjust it while you're painting. Okay. It's very hard to get things exactly symmetrical. Don't even worry if you can't, it's still going to look great. So how we have our line coming up here, that's actually going to be an eyelash. So we want to do another one. It's going to come down about right there. And another one that comes right here. And then we're going to do a little one that comes right next to the middle one. And this line that came down, just kind of bring it out a little more. And we're going to put a little line underneath it to be the bottom or that's still, we're still the top lash, but it just looks, there's a separation in between them. Now right here where you pull the lines out, we're gonna give one little eyelash above it, just like that, okay? Okay, next we're gonna move to the nose. So we have our line here, so we, so we have our line here, showing us the center of the face. We're going to do a curve for the nose, and then we're going to bring it down, meet that line that you made. You could put a little slight curve to it, okay, now We're going to come off of that tip of the nose and right here where the cheeks, you know, the, the wood comes in, we're just going to curve right there. It's not even. Just like that. Now, if you want to do teeth, if you want to do teeth, you can bring a, a line down at an angle. Same here, at an angle. And then do a line straight down the middle, and then a line underneath. You can do that, or if you prefer not to have teeth, let me show you what you can do. I'm just taking a wet ones, hand wipe, removing teeth, okay, so if you prefer just to have the mouth, We'll just go ahead and do like a little, like you're drawing a happy face. And then you could do a little tiny tongue, just do a curve within that. So 
you could have that instead of teeth. We can do right here off of the shoulder where it comes, let me bring this down so you see a little bit better. Right where it comes down like shoulders. Let's go ahead about this far, I don't know what that is, maybe an inch. We're gonna come around and bring a little paw. maybe one little line for the paw because the other ones are hiding or a little bit there. Okay, so now for the ears, we'll go ahead, let me go up so you can see what we're doing up here. We're going to do same shape of the ear but just inside. Not a lot, just a little bit, not all the way up. And then um, this one, let's see, we're going to make it like the ears folded, so. like his ears folded. Okay, so that's the ears. So this looks like it's hiding underneath because the ear is curved. So now we're gonna go down to his feet. Um, yikes, I have to turn my camera because it's not picking it up. There we go. So I was gonna be having um, some flowers here, so I'm not too worried about doing a foot there. But here, I'm going to go ahead and just do just little tiny lines right where it curves. Not that one. Maybe just the two. I think that's good enough. Just like that. Because this, this foot will show. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to move to painting the eyes. So let me get my black. I'm going to use black because it's strong and it will really show um, more defined on here. I'm going to take a liner. You can use a zero or even a spotter. Um, this is a 10 liner. Dampen the tip, and we're going to start outlining. So, I'm going to do this eye here first.
now we're going to color the iris. Okay, so now we're going to do the iris. Um, so I want them to really stand out, so I'm going to do the Deco Art Dazzling Metallic Ice Blue. And I'm going to use a number two brush, dip it in some water, and then put it in my rag to get rid of any excess water. Just make sure you get rid of all the water here. It will drip down and mess up what you're doing. of his eyes. This is coat number one. You can use a thicker brush, a flat brush if you want. This is just what I prefer. If it's too thin, you're going to have ridges. You don't want ridges. So don't use a liner. That's for sure. And don't put it on too thick. If you put it on too thick, you're also going to have lines, ridges. Okay, it's coat number one. You can also tell if your spacing between the pupil and the iris outline is close based on how you're painting it. Like if your brush, you know, fits right in there, you know it's close. If one side fits, the other side goes out, you know you're not even. So as long as it's pretty close, you don't have to get it perfect. As close as you can is good. Okay, so there's coat number one. Rinse off your brush. Now we're going to take our white. And we're just going to paint the white of the eyes. Next, we're going to do the nose. I'm going to keep my number two and I'm going to use Carousel Pink. Also, my Deco Art. Now I will be putting pink glitter on the nose, but I always want to paint the color underneath the glitter in case any glitter, you know, by chance comes off or I didn't get a thick enough layer, but usually it's, it's not a problem. But if that did happen, you wouldn't notice because I have the pink paint underneath. Okay. I have some ridges on there, but I'm not worried about it because this is just an undercoat for the glitter. Okay, now we're going to jump to the tongue. Well, actually, first, you know what? Let's outline. Or no, I'll do the tongue first. I'll outline. I'm going to use my liner for this. Take my liner.
I'm going to actually use a number 10 round. Nice big one. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put some glitter on the nose. I'm going to use my clear gel tacky glue by Eileen's. Just get a, kind of a firm brush. And I'm going to get glue all on the nose. You don't want to put too much because if you put too much, it will drip. Just make sure you use a brush that you could get into the corners and edges. use glitter. Uh, this is pink. You can use any kind. You can use um, extra fine, regular, whatever you want. Give it a blow, just a quick little blow on there. Um, get any kind of flat brush and just fix the edges. This is a size 8. It's a flat brush, but it's curved. Now we're going to add our highlight on the eyes. So I'm going to come close for you to see the eyes. Take my liner brush, give it some white. And this is what gives it a twinkly, nice twinkle look. So think of the pupil as a clock. So between 10 and 11. In between the iris and the pupil, we're going to put a little dot. Same thing on this side, but it's also going to be on the left side as if the light's coming down in that direction. Between 10 and 11 o'clock. Then down here, I don't know, let's call this 5 o'clock between four and five. Mostly in the pupil area, we're going to put a dot between four and five o'clock. Okay, so at Michael's, I picked up this little bundle, little bouquet of uh, soft pink flowers. These were on sale. They were pretty, pretty low. I forgot what percentage they had off. The regular price is $9.99, but I did not pay that much. I wouldn't have paid that much. Um, and I'm just going to put some flowers here in the corner. So, oh, where's the wire cutters? Okay. I'm going to cut close to the base there. Not close. 
close enough because I want him to be flush. I'm going to dab a little bit of glue first just so that stays attached there. It doesn't come apart. Okay, while well, all of these are kind of drying there, um, I'm going to use some of these like fall fur. You can buy them at Michael's, um, Joann's, and it's a sheet. I think it's like 9 by 12. You can get white fur, black fur, brown fur, and I just cut little pieces, just like that. And I'm going to put some glue on each little side corner and just fold it in just like that okay then right here on the ears I'm gonna put some glue Thanks. and then right in the beginning where the pink starts just going to push on there. Okay. And then the same thing with this one. This one actually looks a little smaller. You're just curving these edges in. Like so. down just like that gives it a little cute extra look okay so that's what the ears ears look like you can see the glitter on the nose all right so now we're just going to do our little decorating here in the corner so I'm going to start bright pink one right here on the toe. So I'm going to load up the bottom of the flower. Load it up pretty good with hot glue. And then push it on there. Put it in there. Let's see. I do have these little glitter eggs. You can get these at Michael's also, $4.99. If you have coupons or award uh, rewards, you can get them cheaper. Just pull that little thing out. Uh, let's see. I might add another flower. going to shove it right underneath there.
There we go. There it is. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.